If the power is off, it's one less worry for firefighters battling house and business fires. But what if the power is still on and there's no way to turn it off? That situation requires special training. Tonight, Calvin Sneed visits a place where firefighters get that training. Now, Calvin, you got a close up look at this training, right? I sure did, Josh. Latricia, all firefighters have to watch out for collapsing floors, walls and ceilings, dangerous backdrafts that could kill or seriously injure them. But there's one type of fire that could kill them instantly. And tonight we'd visit a training facility that could keep firefighters safe from electricity. TVA does not fight ordinary fires. We have to train our people how to apply water to energized equipment safely so they don't become electrocuted. The Tennessee Valley Authority trains its own set of firefighters to attack blazes in nuclear plants, dams, and other power producing stations. And they do that training inside this newly expanded building in Marion County. It's got five burn rooms. Inside each, a different kind of fire situation. First, an ordinary storage room with paper and wood, one with an office setting. This this one seen on infrared is oils and flammables. But then the danger mounts with live electrical cables. For our scenario, fire versus electrical equipment. We get our turnout gear, pants, coat, head coverings. This is heavy stuff. Plus some extra help of my own. Good, now I can see. <laughs> After buckling down and buttoning up, it's off to hose training. Now this is where it gets tricky. There's no power in here today, but imagine if these were live wires. If water from this hose created a puddle back down to me, I could be electrocuted. So I have to widen the stream. There you go. There is a kick to it. Whoa, yeah. Oh my goodness. Boy, that force is something else. Let's go fight one. Now comes the fun part. There's a fire in this burning TVA building and we're going to put it out. Justin Wilson activates a wireless remote that controls every fire simulation in the building. Let's do it. From the equipment to the ceiling, the fire is everywhere. Johnson says each situation is different, but training is the key. I think we're prepared. It's a week-long 40-hour session to be a TVA firefighter with hands-on training. And we're also told there are refresher courses held at the training center throughout the year. Josh. Calvin, thanks so much. Last year, 7,000 people trained at the center, putting in more than 57,000 man-hours of instruction.